Are you ready to add black bars into your video to make them look really nice, sleek, and sexy? Well, you've come to the right place. But for real, let's just get into this because there's a couple different ways that you can do this in DaVinci Resolve. And you know, why do we even add black bars onto our videos anyway? Well, generally speaking, it's just to mimic film. That gives it that nice cinematic look. It's just a remin reminiscence of how film actually was in the real back in the day. And today, the standard aspect ratio for 4K, 16 by nine, the black bars are 2.35 to one ratio. And so today we're gonna be using that ratio uh, in different ways in DaVinci Resolve, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. We got uh, Jerry Weeks here from uh, Saving Able, got some footage that took of them, and uh, we're gonna throw some black bars onto this music video. So. Let's go over to Timeline and then we go down to Output Blanking and look at that. All your aspects are right there. And so the one that I always use the most is the uh, 2 to 35 to 1 ratio. So you click on 2.35 and there you go. It's done. You got your black bars on the entire video. But of course, if you have different tastes, you can go in here and you can do a 2.0, which is a little bit smaller. Uh, you can go in here and just, yeah, you know, just pick, pick whatever you want. Whatever suits you, doesn't really matter. And you can go into your, the cog wheel over here, open up, uh, uh, right now I got 4K footage I'm doing this on, but if you scale it to uh, 1080, uh, the crate thing about DaVinci Resolve is it just crops it straight to the 1080 footage without you having to change anything. <coughs> Premiere. <coughs> Premiere. <coughs> But let's, let, let me show you a different way of how to do this. So we go down to output blanking, hit reset. Okay, so you're back to normal, right? So we're gonna go into the two box and we're gonna type in an adjustment layer. Get the adjustment layer up here and over the top of your footage. Go to the inspector and below transform you should see cropping. So what we're gonna be looking at is crop top and crop bottom for 4K footage that you want a 2 to 35 to 1 aspect ratio. The number for this is going to be 266. So you got the top and 266 for the bottom and there you go. And so you can play back your footage. Whatever this adjustment layer is over top of will now be showing you the black bars. See if I move this, the black bars aren't there. So they're connected with the adjustment layer. Now for the intro that I did, if you want to do something like that where the black bars are coming in, let me show you how to do that. It's all just keyframes. So let's go to the beginning of this adjustment layer, type in zero, zero on the crop. So crop top, hit keyframe, crop bottom, hit keyframe. Go in a few seconds and then type in 266 and look at that, a nice cinematic aspect ratio forms right before your eyes and i just think that looks sweet i love doing that in videos all right so i just reset everything and there's another really easy way to get this aspect ratio and it's just going onto google and typing in 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio black bars and if you do that there will be a ton of images that come up that will be set but i'll just link one in the description for you guys to download there i'm not associated with them at all but you just drag the image it would be a png and uh, look at that, you already got it right here and you can just can drag it right over your video and uh, use it like that. But you know what, speaking of downloads, I think it's a perfect time to mention today's sponsor. MotionCan has come out with this awesome graphics pack for creators that allows for easy installation in DaVinci Resolve with full auto resizing animations. You got transitions, typography, 600 sound effects, animated backgrounds, animated social media logos, lower third graphics, shapes, and a, oh, just a whole lot more. Coming to DaVinci Resolve, although great in many aspects, I, I think it suffered from lack of like animations and transitions and all those things. And me having all that in Premiere, it's like, oh man, like it's all gone now. It's just been a complete game changer for me. And I, I plan on using it for all my content going forward. Also, they are not paying me to say all these nice things. I, I genuinely really like this pack and I think people would really appreciate having all these things in their library. So if you're interested at all, I'm providing a link down in the description and you guys can check them out. All right, so let's go over the fourth way to do this. So now if you are in your timeline, just go to the color tab. And then what you wanna do is go down here. Uh, this little box right here is called sizing. Click on that. 
that and then go over to this little box that's called output sizing and that will ungray the blanking tab. Now blanking again is what this is technically called. And we wanna be looking at the top and the bottom. So if you just kind of scrub with these, you can see you're getting the top and the bottom. When you go over to output sizing, this should just affect the entire timeline. This should not affect individual clips, but just in case, make sure you're on timeline up here and not on clip, because if you're on clip, you won't be able to use blanking. So make sure that's on timeline and that will gray, ungray the uh, blanking. What I always do is for the top is 266, and then for the bottom is 1922, and that will give you the accurate uh, 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio. And again, that can be played through the entirety of your video with black bars uh, with doing this method. The downside to this method is that there's like no way to not have the black bars. The black bars are gonna be on everything because this is not an adjustment layer. But personally, this is the one that I use for all my videos because I'm usually not messing with them too much with the black bars. They're, the black bars are just there. Now for me, the biggest benefit of using black bars is just being able to hide footage or hide mistakes that were used on set. Say if you had like a boom mic that was in the shot or there's just something that you did with the footage that's just not appealing, um, what you can do is go into transform and look at this. It gives you a little uh, leeway room in the top and bottom. So say if like I didn't like something on this like pipe up here or something, you know, I can go up a little bit higher to right about there and then go back down and now I'm cutting off the, the top a lot more and hiding things. So it's great for hiding mistakes, it's great for looking cinematic, and at the end of the day, I think it's really appropriate for YouTube and different kind of videos. But overall, this is all personal taste. So some people just don't like black bars at all in their videos, some do. I'm someone who really likes them. I think that uh, just we as humans, we like straight lines, we like parallel lines, and it really attracts us to the center of the image that you're trying to portray. And I think that's why it subconsciously gives it that, you know, filmic look. All right, guys, I hope you learned something today. I hope I was able to help you out. Um, if you guys are interested in DaVinci Resolve tutorials, I myself am a filmmaker that has come over from per the Premiere and Adobe ecosystem and I'm loving it so much more. So if you guys are looking for reviews and tutorials, uh, I I'd suggest subscribing. I'm making a ton of content this year and would love to have you along for the ride.